recording it. And Hold then... on, I'm going to YouTube now. Um, sorry, guys. Hold on, I'm going to YouTube now. Um, <laughs> tell that me if this to be working. Tell me if this link works. It does. Okay, so I will post to my stupid timeline and you guys email that link. I'm not gonna go on live on YouTube. I'm gonna stay live. And you guys are gonna play again. Plan? Okay. All right, everybody, sorry about that. Hey everyone, sorry about that. Um, we had some technical difficulties over on Facebook. So we are switching over to YouTube and hoping that this is gonna work for us on YouTube. So I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to kind of make the switch over. Thanks for bearing with us. Sorry about that. And hopefully this will work. Well, it looks like 13 people are watching us now. So, um, oh look, Nettie's here. Hi, Nettie. Oh good, the chat's working and everything. All right, so we are gonna resume here. Sorry about that, everybody. And take two. Okay. John Harbison, Trio Sonata. Um, three students that you're going to hear in this video are Johnson Yoon on soprano saxophone, Chadley Sexton Simon on alto saxophone, and Jessica Rowe on baritone saxophone.
Excellent. That was John Harbison's Trio Sonata. And next up, we have Shiv, it's take two, playing Joan Towers' Wings. Hi there, uh, my name is Shiv, I'm a senior, and um, I'm going to be playing Wings by Joan Tower. It was originally written for solo clarinet in 1981, and then in, I believe, the mid, uh, in the early 90s, it was uh, transformed for saxophone, for solo saxophone, and then eventually for solo saxophone and delay pedal. I won't be using a delay pedal today, but I'll be playing uh, solo saxophone, of course. Um, this piece, um, according to Joan Tower, is supposed to be emulative of a large, majestic bird, almost like a falcon, as she says, and its journey going through ups and downs in which a bird does uh, when they travel. So, I hope you enjoy. Thank 
All right, Shiv, bravo. I'm glad we did it a second time. The second time was even better. Fantastic. All right, next performer is Jared Miller coming live from North Carolina. All right, sick. So I'm going to be playing the first movement of Janine uh, Rueff's uh, Sonata for Solo Alto Saxophone, and this is her 12-tone rendition of Sonata Form. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fantastic, Chad. Bravo. Next up, we're heading up the coast from North Carolina to New Jersey. Our next performer is Jessica Rowe. Hi, I'm Jessica Rowe, and I'm going to be playing Green Rainbow Road
All right, Jess, fantastic job. That was Rio Noda. And uh, we'll head back across the river to New York City. And our next performer, our last soloist here is Chadley Sexton Simmons. Hello, um, I'm Chadley. I'm a third year here at NYU. Um, tonight I'll be playing Le Repose de Tetir by Charles Kecklin, which um, literally translated means the rest of Tetiris. And if you're familiar with ancient Latin poetry, um, I was not before I got into this piece. Um, Tetiris is a character created by Virgil, the poet, um, and he's like a shepherd. So the piece is just kind of about him resting with a bunch of sheep in a field as shepherds do, I guess. So enjoy. Lovely playing, Charlie. All right, guys, I, I think I figured out what was wrong with my Facebook page if, if we want to switch back, but I think let's just stay here on YouTube. It's a little, little live stream humor for you. Um, this next piece was intended to be played in this format. 
This is a brand new piece um, written by my good friend, American composer, Carolyn Maloney. Carrie and I were talking uh, near the beginning of the pandemic about making music on the internet and um, the ideas of latency and some of the other issues that are inherent with trying to play online together in a live format. And um, I had done a string trio carries last semester at Queens College that I coached. And I asked her about doing that piece for saxophones, maybe adapting it. And uh, she said, I'll do you one better. I'll write you a new piece. I said, fantastic. Uh, and so she did. So this is part three of the uh, internet world premieres of uh, Carrie's piece, Strands. Uh, we did part one with students from William Patterson, part two with students from Queens College, and this will be the third edition uh, of the piece. And, uh, you know, we've been working on this. Carrie came and uh, did a Zoom session with the students, and um, we've been excited about playing this piece now for some time. You'll hear there are some elements of improvisation and interaction and, and all scored for uh, three asynchronous saxophones. Uh, performers tonight are Tim Hummelon on alto saxophone, Shiv Singh on tenor saxophone, and Jared Miller on baritone saxophone. This is Carolyn Maloney's Strands. Thank you. 
Fantastic. Strands by Carolyn Malinay. Um, and uh, we may play the piece again when we're back in person and we'll try it in different places in the hall and see if it works differently than it does on the internet. Uh, thanks for everybody rolling with the punches and switching from Facebook to YouTube. Uh, we have one more piece that's going to feature the full uh, NYU saxophone orchestra here. Um, it's our arrangement of Steve Reich's New York Counterpoint. Uh, special thanks to Jared Miller, who prepared all the parts for us, and to Johnson Yun, who put all the video together, and to Enzo Liu, who put um, all the audio mixing together. So the players that you're going to hear are Enzo Liu, Johnson Yun, and Tim Hummelwan on soprano saxophones, uh, Chadley Sexton Simmons, Jessica Rowe, Trista Ford, alto saxophones, Shiv Singh, tenor saxophone, and Jared Miller, baritone saxophone. This is Steve Reich's New York Counterpoint. Thank you. 
That's all we got for tonight. Bravo to all the performers. Everybody did such a great job for these last two semesters under circumstances that were uh, far from le uh, from ideal. So um, I think we had just a great semester and a great concert. And thanks for hanging in there and switching channels with us. And next year, hope to see you back in Washington Square in person. Have a good night, everybody.